What's up guys, it's Feeve Chief here. Today we have a ton to go over between selling investments, new investments we're gonna be making, and all the content that EA dropped today on Monday. But before we jump into that, I'm gonna show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 5% off at checkout. Now let's get right into this video. All right, boys, so diving into today's video, first, we're going to go ahead and hit on all the content that EA released. Tons and tons of cool stuff here between upgrade packs, player picks, and everything like that. First of all, we'll just take a quick glance at this Fernando Torres SBC, the Trophy Titans version of him, four star, five star here. Pretty crazy card per usual. And right now, Footvin says he's coming in at about 158K. Again, a lot of crazy cards in the game right now. So for me personally, I'm not dying to complete this card, but for what looks like a really, really cheap card, I mean, I'm not too fussed about it. Couple 85, 86 rated squads and 82 rated squad. This is just kind of a guy that you're going to complete with duplicates along the way. I think he's a fun card to have out there. So I don't really mind it at all for super, super cheap. So now we get on to the big things. First of all, we have the 80 plus player picked. It's basically just re-upped from last week. It's the exact same thing. It just requires that you submit 10 gold cards and you get a player pick. Uh, four options will pop up, all 80 rated or higher. And this is honestly really, really good value. I'm going to have a video out soon on how to basically grind these continuously for as cheap as possible. And these basically just toss fodder at you. We were doing these yesterday on the Mission Manchester account. Literally did three of them, got two specials and like an 84 gold these are super super good value so video will be out on that soon but it's essentially just grinding the bronze and silver upgrades to get those player picks so now we have the big big items that have kind of influenced the market big time here we have an 84 plus times 10 upgrade which is here for three days and is fully repeatable which is kind of crazy here so looking at the requirements on this again people can do this as many times as they want and the big thing here 87 rated obviously people have tons of high rated cards from doing their 84 times 10s 85 times 10s everything like that the big thing here is that it requires a team of the week player and we have seen team of the weeks shoot up in price massively here so let's go ahead and take a look at the team of the week market here you can see these are flying at the moment i don't see them like really chilling anytime soon the only ones you see listed here for 30k are cards that are price capped at 30k so you can see the prices are through the roof and i wanted to show you like the index on <laughs> the team of the week cards you can see it says they're up five percent today but this literally just isn't updated you can see this massive jump after 6 p.m from a 95 96 index all the way up to 107 the prices are absolutely flying right now it is crazy um i want to take just like one example let me go find like a guerrero card here and see what he looks like this 85 guerrero he is okay he's price capped at 30k what about a card like sule here i want to find somebody with a prior a higher price cap and see where they're going i mean he's extinct at 37 and a half k and before content, what? He was literally 28k. So it'll be interesting to w see where these Team of the Weeks kind of chill out. But the fact that this is fully repeatable, requires Team of the Weeks, is absolutely nuts. And this is typically a really good way to make coins, is whenever Team of the Weeks are up in price, you can basically just sit here and bid on Team of the Weeks and sell them for more. So I'll, we'll look at that on stream today as well and try to piece something together on how to make coins with that. But Team of the Weeks absolutely skyrocketed today, as you can see there. And then the last thing here is the 85 plus times 10 upgrade. This is available three times a day for the next week. So obviously people are going to be completing this as well. It is the exact same requirements as last week. So again, another team of the week here. So people team of the weeks have just gone through the roof because of the amount of requirements for them. And then again, because this is the exact same thing as last week, our investments that we mentioned over the weekend and yesterday are looking very, very nice right now. I know we talked about 83s and 84s. 85s, I was kind of like eh on if you wanted to go in on them. 83s were kind of my big one. And then 82s as well, I mentioned, were kind of high risk. 
but big reward on these and it's paying off right now so i kind of want to go through some of the prices here and kind of see where they're settling at the moment so if you have these cards i would honestly recommend holding a little bit Again, you want to sell around content time with these cards, but you can basically sell any day this week because these are these are going to be required throughout the week, obviously, and they're just going to get more and more expensive. So, for example, John Stones here is currently going for about 4,000 coins, and I know we were looking at these 83s when they were basically under 3K. So, it'll be interesting to see. Let's take a look at this John Stones card and see, like, last week what his kind of uh what his movements were so if we look at last week do 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 we want to see so he basically just rose until wednesday and then slowly came back down and then is now jumping right back up so i do think these cards can just continue to increase here i want to look at another card here spelling let's go for party and see an 84 what he kind of did last week so i'd imagine it's a lot of the same here yeah just kind of rose until wednesday thursday and then drop back down over the weekend and again i would expect these cards to kind of do the same thing here it's not like the demand for these is going to go anywhere so i would get rid of these now team of the weeks i recommend selling before the um before the 84 times 10 upgrade expires because you got to keep in mind that 85 times 10 is here all week but the 84 times 10 is actually going to be gone. Are these cards all here? Is going to be gone in three days. So keep that in mind. So the 84s are up a bit here. Nothing too crazy though. The 83 is doing very nicely. And the 82s are moving like crazy right now. Because as mentioned before, like everybody from these player picks, these 85 times 10s, everything like that, everybody has tons and tons of like 87 88 89 specials in their club and they're really just trying to fill these squads out with like 81s and 82s so the 81s and 82s are going through the roof i was trying to see what i sold yeah so like even last week i was selling parties for 40 for 6600 i was selling jesus's for 4800 so you can see around content time any of these days these cards will go nuts so that's kind of where the market's at right now. So what can we invest in since that stuff is up, we'll be selling those investments. So typically what EA does with requirements is they make things very, very cyclical. And what that means is let's say 87s and 88s are up in price. They'll, you know, use those for a couple of weeks. Those cards will get expensive and then they'll make it. So the 83s are expensive again, like stones, like Jesus, cards like that. So they'll, they'll make it very cyclical, like I said, and we've seen it with team of the weeks. A lot of times there'll be a lot of team of the week requirements. They'll chill on them. So the prices drop and then those will shoot right back up in price. Dang, Jesus is expensive right now as an 83. That's what we like to see the 80. Oh, he's got to be out of facts right now. There's no way he's that expensive. Anyway, what were we talking about here? The they make it very cyclical. So right now what we're seeing is the gold 87s are cards that are down in price heavily now no there's a couple reasons for this number one is there's a lot of 87 specials people have tons and tons of these cards so they don't really need these 87 gold cards and the other reason is that basically they just don't need these for sbcs because again it's very cyclical ea requiring lower rated squads for a lot of stuff so what i'm expecting is you know we're gonna have this period where 82s 83s 84s are kind of the items that are required for these SPCs. And then we're gonna get right back to stuff that makes these 87 rated cards go up in price. Now, when you're investing in these cards, I always recommend that you invest in gold cards and not specials, which might seem kind of backwards, but what happens with these cards, I'm trying to bring up the cheapest buy rating so we can look at this. What happens with these is whenever we get SPCs and stuff and it requires that we use like 87s and 88s, for some reason, everybody is like scared to use specials in the SBCs. So the golds will go up in price, but the specials won't. And you'll see this like last week. If we go look at this Verati card over recent times, you can see he went from like 10K, 9K up to like 19K here. Through last week, he was like 18, 19K. While like the special 87s were like 13K. 
So these gold ones just like irrationally go up for some reason. So when investing in these sort of like higher rated cards, always go for the gold ones because they just do better because people are weird. It, just, it is what it is. That Verratti did also go out of packs for that second week. But you can see even this Rodri here went from 10k to 15, 16k, while the other 87s just didn't do that. For example, like this Weg Horse Winter Wild cards, if we look at him over that time period that those cards were up, he was literally like 11, 12k. So it's weird, but when investing in those high rated cards, look at the golds, not the specials. Sell all those 83s, 84s sometime this week. I would recommend like Wednesday ish would be a good day. And team of the weeks, I mean, might as well get out on those before the 84 times 10 is gone as well. So that's kind of our content for today, our kind of lowdown on everything that came out. Happy with that Fernando Torres card, just kind of easy to complete card to have out there. Not like he's going to be all that good in game, but still cool to have. And wild wild stuff with content today but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video